Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows XP Home Edition in VirtualBox. Now I did make a video tutorial <coughs> on how to install Windows XP in VirtualBox, but that was pretty much the Professional Edition, and this is the Home Edition, which is uh, more of a complicated way to install. Um, you can't download it standalone, you have to download a OS that was earlier than that edition before that. So... Without further ado, let's get into the first part of the tutorial, which is downloads, which uh, first, you want to get VirtualBox if you do not have it already. And I recommend, as of now, at the time of this video, doing the 4.3 version, because the 5.0 version to me is just too buggy and it just doesn't work. So once you get VirtualBox, you will need the Windows XP Home Edition ISO, and you will need a Windows 2000 ISO or anything before that, but we're just going to use Windows 2000 for this example. So I'm going to leave you a link to the video on how to install Windows 2000 in VirtualBox because you are going to need that to refer um, to use because you're going to need to do that, and then you're going to upgrade Windows XP Home Edition from Windows 2000. So what you're going to do is you're going to open VirtualBox and then create a new virtual machine so I'll just call it Windows XP Home Edition now this is just to show you how to create a virtual machine I'm not actually going to install this or whatever hit next and then I'm just gonna leave it where it's at because this is just an example and then create your hard drive and then what you would do in this step is hit settings and then storage and then hit this little disk right here then hit here and then you're gonna find your Windows 2000 it could either be located in this list or you're just gonna have to find it on your computer but you're gonna need to do Windows 2000 installation first and you can watch my video tutorial on how to install Windows 2000 VirtualBox I will have an annotation up on the top of this video up here on how to do it and there will also be a link in the description so that link will be coming to you right now and so you can go ahead and check that out but I'm just going to go ahead and just use the Windows 2000 version uh, machine that I created earlier. So this will be basically just from the point of after Windows 2000 installation of what you need to do after that. So let me start up this virtual machine really quick, which should not take very long. And this is the professional version as well, if you did not know, if you haven't watched my previous video before. <coughs> The point of this is you can't stand alone install Windows XP Home Edition. You have to have a previous um, operating system before that. I haven't been able to find an ISO that can do it stand alone, but you never know. Okay, I had to let that play for a minute. So, once you're finished with the installation of Windows 2000, you need to go to the disk down here, right click it, and then you need to find the Windows XP Home Edition ISO. Okay, so if you have the issue where Windows 2000 aborts, um, like if you try to choose a virtual disk file and it aborts like this, just go ahead and go into your settings and just put it in in the storage from there before you start the virtual machine. That's another glitch, I guess, in VirtualBox that I have not realized yet. So there's the home edition. There will be a product key in the description with the ISO. So now you go ahead and start the virtual machine. You might even be able to do the setup outside of VirtualBox. We'll see. If it gives me the option to press any key. So you're going to press any key to boot from the CD, and there you'll go through the basic um, blue screen of Windows Setup. get all the files loaded so to set, set up is starting windows so to set up windows xp now you're going to go ahead and just hit enter and then you're going to hit F8 to agree to the terms. And then you're going to just go ahead and hit Enter to install on that partition. And we're going to uh, go ahead and hit 
continue to continue the setup and we're going to format a NTFS file system quick. Hit F to format the drive. Now going to copy files, which can take time. So we're going to go ahead and just let that sit, and I'll be with you guys once it's finished copying files. So getting close to the end of the uh, copying files, and there it is. So it's going to initialize the installation, and it's ready to reboot. So go ahead and hit enter to reboot. That is if it likes to do it. If it won't do it, just let it go. I'm just going to have to let it go because it won't reboot for some reason. Alright, so then it'll restart the machine. It'll say press any key, and I'm just going to leave the disk in for now. It's going to give you that little Windows XP boot up screen. And there we go. There's the graphical user interface of Windows XP. So this part may take a while. So really it's just basically the basic installation of Windows XP. So It'll say installing devices. Uh, I think our first screen should be showing up here, and then after a while, it's just going to be going through. So it says setup will complete in approximately 34 minutes, but that is not actually true. It would be a little quicker than that. It should give you a screen that says like your time zone and all that stuff, which should be coming up here. Yep, there it is. There's your regional and look language options. So if you need to change this you can, but it's just the location and keyboard layout, so hit next. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna type in a username. And then this is where the product key comes into play. You're gonna need to open the product key and then copy it and paste it into the uh, window here with the bars. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I'll actually come up with a network setting screen. I totally forgot about this screen. So just do typical settings, you should really just have to do that, and then you should be good. No screen should pop up until you, we hit the restart point. So I'll be back again with the restart point. Okay, so I actually missed the restart point, sorry about that, but when it says press any key to boot from CD, do not hit any button. And now it's going to detect your screen resolution, and it'll bump it up a little bit. So just hit OK. It'll say, please wait, and I don't think there's audio, but we'll check. Oh, yes, there is. So hopefully you guys can hear me. That is the audio, the boot-up sound, or this uh, music for that. So it'll say, thank you for purchasing Windows XP. Let's spend a few minutes setting up your computer, so just hit next. We're just gonna, you can do either one of these, but you just go through the basic setup here. I'm just gonna hit help by turning up automatic, turning on automatic updates. It's gonna check for an internet connection. So it's connected through a local area network, so it did connect an internet connection. So just hit no for activating Windows. It does have a 30 day activation, but you obviously can uh, disable that. Or you can do a 
kill for that. So let's do everything. Epan for the username. Just hit next. And thank you. It is finished and it will log you in. You heard the uh, log on sound and there we go. Windows XP Home Edition has been has been installed. We can even right click on my computer and hit properties and there you go. Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition. Register to everything EPAN. That is the video tutorial on how to install Windows XP Home Edition to VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys uh, hope that helped you out for any of you that requested this video. Um, for people that are requesting a Windows Me video, yes, I'm trying to get that out. I have not been able to get an ISO. I had an ISO that worked before, but now it doesn't work, so I'm trying to find an ISO. Um, somebody that gave me an ISO in the description of one of my videos, uh, it did not work, so I don't know if it would just work for you and it doesn't work for me. I don't know what the heck's going on, but I'm going to try my best and get a Windows Me tutorial out hopefully sometime soon. I mean, not like within the next day soon, but um, hopefully... But by the end of the year, I mean, I would hope not. It wouldn't take two months to do it. But there is the video tutorial for you guys. Subscribe for more, video, for more videos if this helped you out. Also, like the video. Comment for any suggestions on what you want me to do or any VirtualBox tutorials or anything. Um, and just share the video if it helped you guys out. Share it with your friends and share it with any other YouTube users that may need this video to help them out. So that's the video tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.